I bought this awning from Vivor and uh, I've pulled out all the parts and it looks like really, really good quality. However, the instructions are horrible and the most confusing things in the world. These are the pieces it came with and in a moment I am going to make sense of this confusion for you. So we've got four pieces here that come in pairs. So uh, these two come as a pair. You notice that they have the feet and these are also a pair, the ones with the pins. And now these three pieces work together. This slides in right here. And then in your kit will come this hardware. And right now what we're interested in is these screws. So take four of these out of this package. So let's revisit this part where we slid this into the other two pieces. Line up these four holes and leave these two holes available for the cover. And then you take your screws that um, we just located and a number five Allen key which is not provided in the kit. And uh, you just screw attach with, oops. Now that we've screwed these four in, we flip this over and then we line up the four holes, available holes left on the cover. So these two go here and this one here. And that one here. Now you're going to take these pieces and line up the four holes. That one goes on, on top of that one. And, and this long one on that hole. And same for this side. The longer one lines up. And also on this end. And then you've got your four screws. And you are going to screw them in and attach this all together. So now that I've put three of them in, we're, we're on the last one, and I've left them all a little bit loose so that um, you have a little play so that you can pull this little corner around and just tuck it in. And now you're good to tighten all of them. All right, now you're gonna need your Phillips screwdriver, your three millimeter Allen key, and the nuts and these little screws and we are going to attach them on these four holes on the outside. All right, and then you take your screwdriver on your screw that's on the outside, and you take your Allen key for the nut on the inside, and then you just counterwork them to, to tighten. So I left them a little bit loose at this point, so there's a little bit of play, and uh, I repeat, the nut goes on the inside. It provides more support from that position. Now that these four are attached, we're gonna flip it on its side, take the same nuts and bolts, and uh, with your nut on the inside and your bolt on the outside, you're gonna take the same Allen key and screwdriver and attach. So now that uh, we've put the last eight in, you can go through and tighten all 12. <laughs> Keep it playing while I'm terrible at this. <laughs> so this is how I mounted it on my vehicle, so you'll have to figure out what works best for yours. And next is to put on the tarpaulin. I kept the bag closed um, just so it would be easier while I was installing the brackets. Now it's time to slide in the tarpaulin. I've opened up the bag. Um, keep the Velcro pull tabs on the bottom and then you just take the stiff section and you just slide it through the slot. And it's supposed to be really easy. And then uh, and you just do that all the way along. And we have these handy little tabs that you put on the bottom to lock the tarpaulin in and you just stretch it over the corner.
And if you want to be extra sure about it, you might want to glue it on, so make sure it stays on. And now you take the other end of the tarpaulin and you just do the same with this other piece. So I've lowered these legs and I have taken out these legs from in here, extended them along here and attached them right in the corner. And then I grabbed the Velcro pull tabs right here and attached them around the side here to pull it tight. And now we have an absolutely beautiful, nice tarpaulin, nice shady area made by Verbo.